This lesson involves the 1, the 6, and the flat 7. So in essence, we're just taking what you learned in lesson 13 and deleting the flat 3 and the 3 and the 5. And the reason I've done this is that when you start getting into some of these formulas, it's really smart sometimes to listen to what happens when you leave out some of them. And a lot of times you need a very lean approach. What I mean by that is don't get caught up in playing a lot of different notes. Try to find some color tones and work rhythmically. This is great for your rhythm guitar stuff, too. So I've sped the tempo of our shuffle up just a little bit, and I'm going to show you, if you look at diagram 14, you'll see all the 1s, the 6s, and the flat 7s. And remember that your 6 and your flat 7 are coming right out of the boogie-woogie, aren't they? What am I doing here? I start them. Look at where it's coming from. But I don't want to play the whole boogie-woogie thing. It fills up the sound too much. I want more of a funk approach where I leave some space. I can play octaves, so I'm thinking like a horn section. Then I play some other lick, right? Something else that's coming from riff generator. I throw in these punctuations, be them power chords, root and fifth structures, or guide tones, thirds and flat sevens. I'll do it again. One, two, and three. This is a great way for you to take question and answer phrasing to a higher level. You establish a little riff that leaves some holes for you to riff in. And you're against a solid groove, so you're obligated not to play a zillion notes on the lick that you spot in there. And you're obligated to come back to your part. Right? Whatever it takes. So that's a short, sweet lesson, but you also want to look at variations. Here we're going one, six, flat, seven. Don't forget. Turn the order of the notes around. There's one flat seven six. So there's one flat seven to six. I can play a lot of variations. Flat seven one six, six, one flat seven. I mean, that's just a cool sound. Let me slow the tempo down to a slow blues here. And to me, it's just coming out of the boogie-woogie. That's the way I look at this. And then I'll just juggle the notes around. Six flat, seven, one. Again. There I'm going down to the one, right? There I'm going up to the eight. So you might consider six flat seven eight. And who said you have to stay within a realm of one octave? You could go. You could jump all the way. A lot of ideas. So if you're seeing everything in terms of numbers, it doesn't matter where you go, right? You're free. And then flat seven, six, one. And then, not with a lot of distortion probably, but with a clean chorus sound, you get some great harmonies, great sounds, cluster sounds. Okay, so that's the one, the six, and the flat seven. We have one more lesson we're going to talk about in this particular part two of Riff Generator.